Hi guys, I'm Brandy Cagino with Spoon and Saucer where real food is easier than you think. And today I'm going to show you how to make pour over coffee. Why pour over? Well, confession. I had a coffee maker and I suck at it really, really, really badly. So pour over coffee is a lot simpler and I don't have to like do a bunch of math for, you know, 10 cups of coffee and how much coffee and if I get this right and blah, 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 blah. So um, it's really simple. So let me show you what you're gonna need to make it and then I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first of all, we're gonna need hot water. That's my tea kettle. What's up, tea kettle? Tea kettle, we need coffee. This is a, I think it's a medium grind coffee. I think that'll work. And then I sim I did say simple, right? And then we've got this lovely little cone that has this lovely filter that goes inside. And that, my friends, will sit on top of here and we'll pour the water in and make our lovely coffee. Simple, right? Super, super easy. So come on, come into the kitchen. I'll show you how it's done. Okay guys, I'm back and I'm gonna show you how to make this pour over coffee. So first of all, I've got my water, which has barely, barely just boiled. And I've let it sit for a few minutes because otherwise this particular kettle will be all over the place. And that's not cool, that's not cool. No, not cool. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we want to heat this up, our little cone, so we don't get, you know, cold coffee. And I also like to heat up the mug. So here's what I do. I just stick it on top and I pour this through very carefully and I want to completely wet this uh, little coffee filter here and sometimes it folds in like that so wait till the water goes down and then do that little action. So I like to let it run through because I like the coffee mug itself to be warm because otherwise it gets super cold especially if you're going to put um, cream or b combine it with milk or something like that so I like it to be um, nice and warm. So I'm gonna swish it around in here and then we're just gonna pour that out because we don't need that water. It's just a little bit. So we'll just set that to the side here. Then we are gonna take our coffee and this is about um, 10 grams. If you don't have a scale, don't freak out. You can use this handy dandy little tea, or excuse me, tablespoon, just a heaping tablespoon of coffee, okay? That's all you need. So we're gonna take that and put it in here in our little filter. And then we're gonna pour our hot water in here. And so it's really important to get um, kind of all around the side, move your little stream of coffee um, or your stream of water around your coffee because you want it to have as much contact with the coffee grounds as possible because then you get, get the best amount of flavor. So you're gonna see, I'm gonna show you this to you, it's gonna start to, um, to go down. And I like to kind of look into underneath here and see what's going on. Yep, yeah, looks good, because um, sometimes I've overflowed the cup and that's not cool either. So I like to keep my same little guy, my little bowl handy. I'm gonna pour out my water. And then this is getting pretty decent here. Now, if you like a stronger cup of coffee, you could do all the way up to like 20 grams, which would be about two giant heaping tablespoons of coffee. Um, I like mine to be a little bit weaker, so I go with just a 10 grams. So kind of, you know, your mileage may vary. So check it out. So this now, all of our water has gone through, and we have this lovely cup of coffee. So you can put cream or sugar or whatever you like. That's how you do it, kids. Pour over coffee. Oh, oh, hey, welcome back. So thanks for joining me today on Spoon and Saucer's little video cast on how to make pour over coffee. You're welcome. So easy, right? So much easier than a coffee brewer, that big giant daunting machine, whatever. So be sure to visit spoonandsaucer.com and sign up for the mailing list if you haven't already. And if you haven't left a review here on YouTube, would you kindly think about that? I hope it's a good one. And also let me know what you'd like to learn about. I'd love to hear from you. And also be sure to check out spoonandsaucer.com for the detailed instructions on how to make pour over coffee. And I've also got a little article over there on how to roast your own coffee if you want to get really crazy. So thanks for joining me and I hope to see you next time. I'm Brandy Cagino with Spoon and Saucer where real food is easier than you think.